Okay, so welcome to the Creighton Cobalt, a 5th edition d d podcast. Our players are Blaze Masterson. I'm Keys, the noble half-elf rogue. Hmm. Bloody Teddy. Hello, I play Yikbeth, who is a D&D character, and a paladin, what? and a human. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Suddenly everyone just went away on me there. Um, Keen. Uh, I played Jammy and Kobe the Bear and also Keen. Uh, three rows tonight being played by me. <laughs> I'll never tell you my real name. It's it's oh. unspeakable by humans. <laughs> to hear it is to go mad. <laughs> um, now, uh, Voparoff and Quinn are missing tonight because the Voparoff Quinn signal is up in the sky. Uh, however, please don't cry because we have a special guest appearance by a man completely unafraid to get greased up to fight. It's Scoo. Hello, I'll be playing uh, Stace and Jason. Excellent. Human monk. Okay. Human monk, yes. Exciting. <laughs> man. <laughs> so, um, you are essentially where you were at the end of the last session. You're in the basement of Brian Inc. I'm just going to move you now on the... Uh, on the place. Everyone see that? Mm-hmm. So that's the upstairs and the downstairs where these guys like to hang out. Um, <clears throat> so time, as it so often does, passes. Uh, you you have a little while to rest and amuse yourselves however you, know, however you see fit. There's a bit of a rush on the bakery today, so Bree volunteers to help out. <laughs> <laughs> Voparoff to learn, wants to learn how yeah. to cook. <laughs> yeah, he um Aradar has gone out on a mission to restock the supply of tomatoes in cages. Yeah, that is actually very important. So, um now now and then people will come to your door either congratulating you on saving the city or possibly the world. Uh some of the people will come offering work, although nothing much seems to be too befitting of your abilities. Um, there's a lot of people saying things like, oh, my neighbor's making an awful lot of noise. Could you go kick the crap out of them for me? That sort of, you know, work that you might consider beneath you. Um, the most promising thing that you get all day is delivered by a messenger who gives you a letter written in this sort of flowing hand that could only come from a uh, an elf, essentially. Uh, it, and it says, if you're still looking for a well-paid work, please meet me in the stockyards at the top of the southern line. I'm there most mornings. And it's, it's signed Indeman. Have we heard uh, the name Indeman before? We have. I met her at uh, the party at the Caversham Manor. She offered us troll hunting opportunities. Ah. <laughs> um... So that's that's the most notable thing that happens all day, apart from a good lunch, uh, some nice baked goods. Uh, Bree is really on fire today. But um, later on, you get a knock on the door, and there is a a, a superb looking man. <laughs> it can only he can only be described as. Uh, he's standing there, and he introduces himself. All right. My name's Stace and Jatham. <laughs> wow. Oi, Stace and... Oi. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if I can keep that up. <laughs> Shit. I might have to insist. You've committed. You've committed. <laughs> Commit to the bit. Come on. I think I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Jamie will do it with you. Um, you 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 invite him in and ask him what what he for some reason you invite him in. <laughs> That's good. Nice place you got here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh dear. He's so We have to let him in. Have I seen you around? That's getting a bit weird, but <laughs> Australian. <laughs> Jesus. I know it. You've arrived at our headquarters. 
Arrgh! <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> Crocky! Oh, a lozenges in this law, because, like, we, we've all got sore throats suddenly. I, I think we'll have to come up with something, yes. Would you like a buttery roll? <laughs> What's that? I smell eat. cooking downstairs. <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> <coughs> Upstairs. <laughs> How did you just get into into the basement? <laughs> you oh, no, there is a door. Because of the there is a door. Yeah, there is a door that yeah. uh, that goes directly to the basement. Correct. Why? Um, it's it's so that we can get our guests to uh, give us cl- give us work. That's for our clientele. Yeah. It it was uh it was the supply entrance. You don't want like, anyway. Th- Desperate people who need the help of Brian Inc. tracking mud through your bakery, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's also a there's also a pole that you can slide down. <laughs> to to oh boy! There's a yeah. pole I can slide up to get out really quick. Yeah, if you're good at climb, yeah, you have to climb. You have to pass a climbing check to get out. Um, yeah. But Maybe there's some for the most part, gravity, my, magic. yeah, it's mm-hmm. just you know, if there's an emergency and you need to vacate the bakery. Um, you it could be a fire, a right? Yeah, well, or ghosts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If there's a, if there's I mean, that ghosts, was going to be my second guess. Well, <laughs> the ghost, the, the pole is for the ghost busters. So that, that's how I was envisioning it. So after they've explained where all the exits and entrances are, <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can get down to business. <laughs> Am I flying with Brian here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're a much. This is a much classier organization. <laughs> was that our safety presentation? Because I, I don't think, think it was that yeah. useful. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I don't know how useful that was. Exits on the left and right as I point. <laughs> Why is there a pole on this airplane? <laughs> In the event of cabin depressurization, masks will drop from the roof. <laughs> also, a really long pole so you can get back onto the ground. <laughs> All right, Stason. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to drop the voice because I'm going to spend most of this laughing. <laughs> oh, that was a lovely <laughs> buttery roll that you just ate. Really <clears> throat> throat> yeah, voice, oh, I suppose. Oh, that's better. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, I had mine as well. Uh, oh, good. Uh, the spirit sorry. that was inhabiting me has <laughs> come. Uh, I'm sorry to be a bother, but um, I'm looking for work in the city. We and, actually uh, just got an offer. Oh, uh, really? And it, it turns out we're under we're we're short staffed. I was about to say underhanded. We're short staffed <laughs> at the moment. Uh, can you, can you help us? St- Stason shows you his quarter staff. Ooh. I'm a bit short staffed myself. <laughs> I thought you were... D, 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 D. It's only a quarter. Where's the rest of it? Has anyone ever been attacked with a half staff? I mean, what about a full staff? Just. They go full out, you know. Hmm. We'll have to do some research here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So okay, so uh, why don't you come with us to the yard where Indeman likes to hang out? Check out this spirithial this this spirithial script on this letter here. Spirithial, of course, means elven guys. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say yeah. that I looks like an elf. Elf has you know penned that precisely. So. Uh, I can contract you. There's, you need to sign sign some. Oh yes, you know, please, papers. please attend to the paperwork. Absolutely, uh, Kian. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jami is is our legal counsel. I pull out a lot of like crumpled papers out of my jacket. We so got a lot doing, of HR. We've been doing yeah. a lot of fighting recently. There's a lot so. of HR. Yeah, there's, there's an HR process. Uh, your onboarding is gonna take place while we head to the yard. Yeah, yeah. Got a few waivers to sign and so forth. A little bit of on-the-job training. OJT is what we call it in the business. That's fine. You're not the first company I've worked for, so you know, I'm just we'll get con- through this paperwork. Just Good contracting you for, for today. Mm-hmm. There you go. I have to assign you an operating Thetan level. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of organization Would you like to do a, a, a Sea Org? <laughs> uh, would you like to do a, a personality test? I... Uh, I don't know what I got into. I feel a bit like Katie Holmes out here. Have you have you read our book? Look, it has volcanoes on it. Okay, we're gonna we're so, heading to the yard with our with our uh, new new extremely handsome 
friend. <laughs> Stason flashes you a wink. Just, you, just in character, because right, yeah. you didn't hear that. But mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, says he says it. He can read he says it. He says it. <laughs> um, it's currently evening time. Um, now, you know that you've been asked to the Tower of the Ark, and I'm sort of going back and forth on whether we want to go with this or not. Um, we, I mean... Mm. Because we're down two party members. Um, but then you could... You could yeah. show, you know, you could show Stason the political ropes that you... Yeah, I, I think we should go ahead and just kind of conclude that quickly, um, get whatever they have to say to us, lie to their faces. It'll be easier because we don't have the Dragonborn with us. Um, so, <laughs> like, that's actually... That we have, like, they they want all here. of us to be there. Yeah, they specifically they, asked for all of us as well. Well, they specifically... No, they specifically checked to see that all of us were there. Mm. Okay. The guard the guard goes goes back to them with the with the information that they wanted. Uh, yeah. and yeah, so it, it's perfectly fine. Um, I say we, let's go ahead let's go ahead and you Stason, please come with us. Uh, I trust we can rely on your discretion, especially given that you've signed this disclosure agreement with us. <laughs> of course you can. Yes. <clears throat> of here's you another can. here's another role. Yeah. Uh, I got a couple just in case. All right, so we head to the Arkan. Okay, so on the way, uh, fairly uneventful, except you meet a, a familiar face uh, on your way there. It's this Commander Deary guy of the City Watch, <clears throat> and he stops you as you approach the tower. His expression sort of sours on his face as he gives you the up and down glance of the, well, terminally snooty. And he says, well, if it isn't the Heroes of the Hour... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my nose higher than his is. I'm gonna be I'm gonna outsnoot him. I'm I'm just gonna be like, oh, if it isn't yep. if it isn't the everyday, isn't the, if it isn't the everyday uh, staff of the city, if it isn't the man my taxes pay for. <laughs> he uh, yeah, he doesn't look. Happy you don't pay that. taxes. He... <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so he he basically points a finger and he jabs it into your chest and he says, "Just get one thing straight. You don't fool me for a second. I know your type, and the moment you step out of line, I'll have you rotting in a cell for the rest of your natural lives." Got it? Sure. You can't keep me in a cell. My name is Keys. <laughs> With that, he sort of raises his sort of nose somewhat further and walks off. I'll spit. I'm gonna spit behind him. Like I'm just gonna spit on the ground. Like Patui, what a what a garbage peasant. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna call him a peasant uh, on the way out. Like as as we're walking away, I'm gonna be like, listen to that peasant. I cough for you, Lily, like as he says that. <laughs> just just through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, Stason's got his middle finger extended. Yeah, oh, right. it's, it's a good yeah. thing. It's a good behind thing you can see it. <laughs> so um, everything's much the same as before, but you, as you get into the antechamber, you notice a difference. <clears throat> um, you've never seen it so busy. <clears throat> there are several very prosperous-looking gentlemen and ladies there sitting and talking animatedly. They're not, they don't look happy, and then you walk in, they register who you are, and silence just falls over. Uh, in this new and exceedingly uncomfortable quiet, you can just about hear raised voices coming from inside Simon's office. After a few minutes, the door opens and this mustachioed figure storms out, trailing curses after him. Uh, Immer's assistant stands at the door and motions for you guys to come in next. There are mutters dis disapproval, and if looks could kill, you would have been hit with about ten criticals. Right so then. is the party now, or...? Who, no, wait, who is, who's looking at us? Uh, there is a lot of uh, fancy looking folks in here. Very rich looking people. Mm. All right. Well, uh, I suppose we'll go in at her uh, at her request. Okay. Um, so Simon 
basically comes towards you and he greets you with warmth and enthusiasm. That is customary from him. Um, he seems somewhat tired, but his smile is very broad and genuine. Uh, he says, my friends, thank goodness. I wasn't sure how many more bollockings by rich people I could take this evening. Many seem to have come up with the idea that we hired you to rob the Caversham's and frame them. He shakes his head. He says, I've never seen such fear-mongering before, I tell you. If ever you should find yourself with the need to see real holy terror, look upon the face of a rich man as he witnesses up here being brought to justice. Anyway, to business. Uh, I see you've got a new member. Oh, well, mate. <laughs> uh, Simon steps forward and he shakes your hand very sort of heartily and says, how do you do? Stays and you. stares him square in the eye, <laughs> clenches that hand as tight as he can and shakes it incredibly firmly and just says, he... stay some, jay them. <laughs> You're actually quite surprised. Whenever you pull this sort of maneuver, people usually want to disengage as soon as possible, but he matches your, you know, pressure in your hand just ah. pound for pound. Stace and raises an eyebrow. <laughs> and he gives you a little nod. There's a certain understanding here. And then we, we break the handshake at the same time. Mutual respect achieved. And a flash. A flash oh, in the hands. <laughs> um, he says, well, the first thing we need to discuss is a somewhat delicate matter. And you may... I don't know if you want everyone to be here for this. Do you, I mean, do you... <laughs> Who are you, you talking to? <laughs> well, Stason, Stason, of course. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't involve you, but then if it, if you are now part of this organization. I mean, he's contracted as I wave papers in front of him, so he's not letting him <laughs> So That's here's funny. the, here's the, here's what's happening with, with Keys is that Stason, Stason's wink really melted Keys's heart, and so I'm going to say no. I trust. I trust this man with my life. <laughs> this went from not. Stason to... gives you a, a knowing nod. Oh, oh my! Uh, thank you. And, I trust him. And, and will please continue? Please continue, Simon. Okay. Very well. No, I I understand your trust. Um. <clears throat> so if, yesterday, if only you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, someone subdued some guards and broke into the Caversham Manor. Now, you understandably expressed interest in investigating the scene and were refused by me. Uh, also, one of the attackers was a dragonborn. And since there are so few in these parts, I need to ask you the question, uh, was it you? Now, before you answer, I want you to understand that no. while these things are, of course, highly illegal... Uh, one, the attackers went to great pains not to harm any of the guards on duty, which leads me to, which basically tells me that they weren't common burglars or even dishonorable people. Um, two, I would understand completely if a group of your nature wanted to investigate the scene further or even just loot the place a little. Now, I, my colleagues would feel differently about this, I don't doubt, but I don't give a damn about the Caversham's or their money. I care about the security of the city. And I don't want to waste any time or resources investigating a trivial matter if I can help it. So if it was you, you can let me know. The matter will go no further than that. I'm telling you now, we were not there. Okay. Very well. That's I all I need to know. <clears throat> I, 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 my understanding uh, from the, the account that the guard gave us uh, when he arrived... Um, yes. Was that you were having a wacky baker day? <laughs> That's pretty much all. It sounds like a, a classic case of the old wacky bakers. Uh, and when the it's just your you've got you what you've got is a baking you've got a bakery that ran amok, not our bakery, mm -hmm. another bakery obviously that just kind of ran amok throughout the city for a little bit. It's I've seen it. I saw it in Silver Run <laughs> uh, all the time. So. Yeah. Well, you can you can understand my uh, why we might just want to clear that up. Oh, of course, of course. You know, I think our rival bakery probably did it. <laughs> yeah, I think any bakery apart from ours, maybe you should probably investigate them <laughs> really carefully and perhaps interrupt their operations. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We could do that to be well. Yeah, I open mean, up. A just if cut it, their sacks of flour open to make sure there's nothing bad in there. Mm -hmm. If it came to that, we'd have to do a full investigation of all. 
you understand. But I I think that it was just some sort of random disguise. Oh, we've ar- we've actually already investigated ours, so you can you can go ahead with the others. You want yeah. You investigated your bakery. Well, yeah, we're Brian Inc. I mean, it's not no. our bakery; it's a famous bakery. Yeah, we have to we have to make sure that our HQ is reputable. You understand. Uh, so we did we did a great deal of background checking, interviewing, and uh, the place for important clues. Well, mm-hmm. do you have any reason to suspect um, Eridar might have gone rogue, so so to say? Gone rogue. Well, oh, I, I really want to. I, I really want to fake rat him out so bad. I want to. <laughs> I want to just like be like, oh yeah, it was totally him. Now that you're mentioning it. No, I. Eridar. Eridar is honestly a staunch ally of ours, and uh, he really doesn't like to go very far away from us. I think he. I, I think he's very few, attached. I saw a few dragonborns come in on a ship yesterday, the day before. Really? Mm-hmm. I have no. I have no record of that. No. Could I? Could I just sneak you know, up, Simon? You know how it is with these dragonborns. You know, sneaking well, in. that and your city guard mm-hmm. is so easily bribed. I can imagine that no records were taken if those dragonborn had but a few coin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God! Your nose. <laughs> uh, sorry, Stason. You were saying? I was just saying. I've only known these guys a short time, but I, I've obviously not been paid yet by them so i've got nothing you know they've got nothing over me but mm-hmm. i can assure you their interview process is extensive <laughs> and so i know but that when they say they they have investigated they've done it very very thoroughly very well i wave um, papers in front of simon's face i i i mean absolutely no disrespect by any of these questions i just need to ask that's fine sure. simon you're just doing your job mate <laughs> in many cases um if you do wish to investigate further, now that our official investigation has ended, I can grant you access to the Caversham Manor at any time uh, until it's occupied again. Uh, and of course, occupied by who? Well, the the successors uh, to the Caversham's. Like, is someone who buys a house, or do they have some kind of actual role? Well, uh, the way the city operates, it's uh, it will be taken up by whoever succeeds them on the uh, the Merchants Guild. Oh right. Okay. So, uh, and that decision will be in our hands. Guys, did, so, we, very well. did, did, did we leave any evidence in the Kevashin manner? No, no. We did not, no. So he says, no, you did <laughs> <laughs> No, I think that we were pretty careful about it. And then um, we discovered the, sec- when we discovered the Inception secret passageway, we closed it behind us. And yeah. I think that that, and we were never discovered by any of the guards on either side. So I feel pretty comfortable in thinking that, like, we can lie about this with impunity and keep this knowledge close to our chests. Okay. Right. So, uh, like he says, anytime you need to get into the Caversham Manor, he'll, uh, you know, if you if you do manage to come up with uh, information about the actual. You know the actual burglars. Um, you'll be generously rewarded. And Excellent. likewise, um, uh, if you're looking for any other work, um, there's always something. Something needs doing around this city. Okay, uh, we will take the opportunity to investigate the manor. Uh, certainly, um, I'd, I'd like to look into these burglaries as well. Um, <clears throat> Especially because I think that we have much to learn about these cults. And yeah. here, here, uh, here, Keys is is just dropping dropping some bait for Amer, uh, letting him think that we're we've bought his line about these cults when in fact yeah. he's the Illuminati. So I'm I'm playing I'm playing eleventh dimensional chess here. Chess here. <laughs> he's playing checkers. You I put I mean? my hands behind my back and I make a little triangle with my fingers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Illuminati. Yeah. So. Uh, so we're gonna. I, I'm gonna say absolutely. I believe that we really need to follow up this this cult lead that we have. It seems the the best way, to be sure. Thank Excellent. You. And he, uh, he and, and for the as level. for the other work. Yeah, he he basically writes you another little pass um, and seals it with his with his seal. So anytime you need to use it. Thank you. Uh, and as for the other work, um, the other work would uh, right now. I think. Um, 
the thing I would like you to just investigate in a sort of, uh, I don't have any specific objective in mind, but there's a couple of gangs in the city <clears throat> that uh, need keeping an eye on, essentially. Uh, one is called, uh, you might have heard of them, one is called the Black Hands, the other is called the Sons of Tomorrow. Oh no, these are new to me. Tell me more. Yes, well, you'd, you'd mostly find them in the poor areas of the city. And uh, Black Hands would be the older of the gangs. They've been around for a long time. Uh, but uh, recently, there's been a lot of trouble between these Sons of Tomorrow and them. So, anything you could... You know, go and find, maybe talk to some of the residents. You know, find a way in. Sounds like a find a way in and ident to... identify their leadership. What are we identify their leadership? Um, we don't really. They seem to be very decentralized. They don't have any sort of specific meeting place that we know of. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, we'd like to change that. So this is just an intelligence gathering operation. Essentially, yes. Excellent, thank you. If we, uh, this is something that we're active, actively pursuing at the minute. So, um, if there's any uh, any objectives that we can give you, we'll we'll get in contact. But until then, excellent. All right, thank you very much, Simon. Um, You're welcome. Johnny, it's Johnny, do you have a pleasure. Else, uh... Uh, no, I'm okay. Excellent. I, I give. Right. I give Simon. A handshake. I give him a masonic handshake. See if he, to see if he, uh, you know. That's that's not back something. Away. That's not something he seems to recognize. He, uh... Yeah, don't do that, man. He, he'll... <laughs> There's only one handshake he recognizes. Let's face it. That's Jason's firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I I shake. I go in to shake his hand, but it's not. It's not as firm. It's not the same. It's, it's, yeah, it's really not. I, I'm not bringing his that heat. Pal his palms are a little bit wet. No, no, no. Do Very that, limp. Yeah. It's a, it's like a wet rag wrapped around your wrist. Isn't no, it? say that. He's not that sort of noble, <laughs> or ex noble. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's true. So anyway, I, I shake his yeah. hand and then and then we leave. Uh, yeah, and Simon so now... gives you just all a sort of please look and he says to says to J, uh, Stason um, he's, he says I'm, I'm sure you'll do very well it's a it's a fine group you find yourself among thanks we're going to go and be great adventurers <laughs> <laughs> right. okay thanks we're off so... to be great adventurers I'm, I'm, I'm just really trying to buy trying to get him to buy this line we don't know anything we shouldn't uh, so uh, then, I guess we're going to leave and head to see Indipin. Does that sound good? Yeah. As, and... I, leave, <clears throat> as I leave the door, I shout, "You're all cultists." <laughs> Do you actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm surprised actually that you that you pulled it back there. That would, that showed a lot of restraint on your part. I feel like you you're really yeah yeah. I guess this is growing up, as Blink One Eighty Two said. No, I, th I think you just like. Kept you put out of the room or something. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, Johnny and I. Me. Yeah, Johnny and I uh, decided like that. This was kind of a little bit more sensitive than Yigbus is really. Uh, I actually I trust I trust Stason more than I trust Yigbus in the room. I at that at the point where he asked like, "Hey, do you want to keep Stason in here?" I was like, "Yeah, but can we?" Can we put Yigbis? Yigbis, can do you need coffee right now? Do you need to run and get like a, a donut? All right. Well, no, we'll 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 wait for you. Sure. Yeah. Bye. Okay. You think they got cronuts around in the city? <laughs> Honestly, oh, I would think dear. that the best baked goods probably come from Brie. Like the, we probably yeah. have access. If Brie does cronuts, we've got access to them. But I don't mm -hmm. know if she's. She seems like old fashioned in her baking. Not really up with these new food trends. I mean, that's why Stason came here first, right? Because mm. <laughs> the reputation of the bakery. No, it came for the uh, rainbow rainbow bagels. <laughs> oh, you got those rainbow bagels here? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, they're everything. Nice. We got everything on them. So um, it would be the following day that you would need to <clears throat> uh, head to, uh, what's her name, Indeman. Mm -hmm. 
Um, she says in her in her letter, she basically just says, um, well, "What'd you say? I'm in. You know, I'm here most mornings." So, okay. yeah, we'll head up there during uh, bright, bright and early. I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a very early rising kind of noble. You're a go getter. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna better. push Jami out of bed. I, I picture Jami is really like in a sleep in. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna flip your hammock over. <laughs> Pocket doodle do. <laughs> I just get trapped in my hammock. I'm like in a big cocoon now. Sort but, of. but I. Half a week. You, you turn around and you go, Teddy. Cock a doodle do. I was at first just like in my pants, but then after you've trapped me in the cocoon, uh, a dagger comes through, rips it open, and Jamie steps out in full clothes and battle attire. <laughs> it's like a Superman transformation. <laughs> I'm all about it. That's you're 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 a quick riser. You're not an early riser, but you're able to get out real quick. All right, let's go. It. We're, okay. we're gonna grab a we're gonna grab a cronut on the way out. <laughs> right. On the way up the pole. Yeah, for breakfast. Yigbeth is like, guys, look at this thing I just invented. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Actually, that's that's what Bree's been doing. She's been toiling away at the uh, at this at the. <laughs> yes, in, no, in the bakery. A, that would make sense. I'm trying um, to work it out. <laughs> <laughs> So, if we go to the map, um, you know from her note that she is essentially at the top of uh, the southernmost line. So, you head that way, you, you essentially walk out, out of the, uh, you know, out of the middle class areas of the city towards the poor. The poor areas you haven't actually been here before, but you've you see it all the time because this city is sort of a in a a basin type thing. So you see all these sort of houses crammed on top of each other, all painted in these crazy colours. Um. So you eventually come to one of the stops that are along. You know, along this line, and you wait for a little while, and after not too long, a funicular comes by, and you're able to guess. <laughs> wow, was that the horn? Of the that was funicular? that was actually the horn. <laughs> uh, blowing its horn, it uh, it stops at the platform. Excellent. I'm gonna hop on. I'm gonna be delighted by this uh, technology here. Yeah. Um, what a what a marvel. Jamie has never seen one. Has no idea what it is. <laughs> it's essentially it's this double decker I mean, platform. I mean, yeah, but Jamie, growing up in the forest, has never seen a particular or yeah. Any, uh, yeah, like, uh, machinery I, like that. I'll, I'll, I'll like, fact, I'll, I'll, I'll like good. hold your hand as we cross the threshold into it. I'll be like, come on, <laughs> come on, it's it's okay, come on. Like you would have seen, you would move. have seen them from a distance, going up and down. You know, this. Yeah, but now actually stepping on them. I mean, I don't know what they do. Yeah. You see that there's this essentially, uh, it looks like brick. A, a the rail is brick with a little gap in the middle, uh, and that goes down into darkness. Um, so I got I kind of get pushed in by the crowd who's like behind us. Yeah. There is and there is a crowd. There's a lot of people getting on. Mm -hmm. Um, he, you're charged uh, five gold or not five gold, uh, five silver pieces for jeez <laughs> for getting on. Uh, How about the poor people for five gold? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's actually quite high even for you know. Is this like those trains in Calcutta and stuff? People St piled St on top of it. Station yeah. chimes in. You guys are covering my travel, right? Are, are we covering expenses? Yeah, I'm Say gonna... nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm just get on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my cue from Johnny. Just Five keep silver. Yeah. How much money do you have, Kian? <laughs> I don't think I have any. Well, I must have made some from. Uh, well, guys... yeah. What was it you no, made you from the last job? Three hundred, three hundred gold pieces we got. Yeah. Each of us. Cool. I've already spent mine. Okay. One thing. Right. So, um, yeah. So you're. It's basically the early morning, and the funicular ride up to the upper station is a very impressive experience. 
Chad Double. is like, wow, this really is fun, Nicola. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it moves up the hillside with surprising speed. Actually, um, that pun really put the ick in funicular. <laughs> Can anyone cover the Euler part? <laughs> Can we get this over with? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's not going to happen. Let's see. Where where even was I? Okay, so it stops at regular in intervals, and despite it being very crowded, the view is basically so glorious, it's hard for anyone to take their eyes off it, even the miners who make up the majority of the passengers. I must see this every day. Um, halfway up the mountain, you meet the second car uh, moving downwards. So there's two, essentially two tracks. It's much less full. Um, one disconcerting aspect about all of this is that from below the track you can hear this sort of half animal, half humanoid laboured breath and grunts and sounds of effort. Uh, oh. You're just holding like a carrot in front of the trolls. It's, it's essentially like a big plat double-decker platform. Uh, yeah, like a carriage, oh. it's got little uh, little rails along the side. So, uh, so kind of the way that this is propelled, like its locomotion is achieved by means of like animal labor in the layer yeah. underneath us, probably. That would okay. make sense. Yeah. Do we do we smell any poop? Um, no, especially loads all over the place. Um, you there's something in the air, but there's so much, there's so many like different smells in this city anyway that they just sort of all mingling together you know there's plus, this, yeah plus we're like crammed in with spices. miners a lot of miners yeah and that they have body odor real bad they sure do why do you say that well it's because they work hard <laughs> you're you're saying this you know, like an right? Right? I'm a, yeah <laughs> i'm a, and i'm a noble i have no idea like i'm labor is like <laughs> dudes have to stink because they sweat did you know about sweating <laughs> So, yeah. I slap. I slap like, uh, uh, keys. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> you don't you know about laborers either, though. You you came from you're George of the Jungle, fam. You don't know anything. You can't correct <laughs> at me. Least I you don't know. Courtesy. Look at your hands. <laughs> Never done a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> Simon so Amos shakes uh, Blaze's hand. Crumbles and then it's all soft. And there's a big imprint of Simon's hand in his hand. They really are like very soft and well manicured hands. Absolutely, mm. they're they're good for picking locks. You need delicate <laughs> hands, guys. Please don't make fun of me. It hurts my feelings. Okay, so we're heading so, up the funicular. Yeah, uh, we put the, the egg in the funicular. You watch it, Greg? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Greg, so you learn intervals. At the top, you, you you come to the final stop, and this it's this large area that's basically being quarried flat. Um, <clears throat> further off, uh, away into the distance, you can make out the mine entrance, and in the hills above that, you can see you know this thick forest, uh, which might make you feel slightly better about being here, uh, Jamie. Can you ping on the map where we are, please? Let me so check something. Essentially, at the end of the red line. Let me um, check something about now that we're in the okay. forest. You're not in the forest yet, but you're practically there. Okay. okay. You can you can keep going. Just check something. Okay. Wait, which end of the red line? Uh, the one closer into the uh, to the left hand side of the map. There are two okay. red lines as well. Like we're the we're the bottom one. I'm pinging it, so you should be able to see the circle. Yeah. I was zoomed into the wrong one. Probably. Mm, maybe. If you zoom right out, you'll see some pings. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Groovy. And now I'm clicking on the wrong one just to mess with you, but it's too late. It's just evil. I'm a rogue. Okay, well, that is true. Rogue map pinger. Uh, so, you see, at the top, you get off, uh, everyone disembarks, and there's this low sort of brick structure 
with a small square building area at the very front of it. Um, it's it, it's very sort of plain and stone, and there's dust everywhere. It's, uh, yeah, it's not terribly nice looking. Um, <clears throat> and essentially, it's just this slightly open. You know, the doors are wide open uh, to the outside world. But okay. the views of the city are fantastic, and yeah, you are at All the right. top. I'll see if I recognize uh, Indaman anywhere around from party. Right. Uh, you do see uh, a figure inside that looks like it could be her. And okay. I'll point this out to my Can I recognize the hands that would have drawn the... <laughs> Those <laughs> delicate hands. Yeah. Well, you do recognize the face because... Um, Keys, you you met her. Uh, I'm just going to show that to the players. Did you get that? Yeah. Right. Wow, look at that's, that pen. <laughs> that's basically what she looks like, except not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's dope. You know how hard it is to find female elf pictures that aren't, like, just... <laughs> Well, topless. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That was a very got, concise summary. I got the only one on the internet, essentially. Nice. So, <clears throat> uh, as you walk in, she's she's sort of sitting behind her desk, and she's got her feet up on it. Um, she's reading something on a piece of paper. Uh, as you come in, she she looks up and says, "Can I help?" It? Oh, are you? You're buying. Um, we're working. Let's go. <laughs> You're the individuals from Brian Inc., aren't you? Yes, of course, I'm at, at the affair at the Caversham place. Mm -hmm. um, Good to see you <clears throat> again. Yes, I, I hope the city has been treating you well uh, since then. Certainly better than it did that night. Uh, so, you, you, want, you want to do some work? Let's do. I love that coin. I'm all Excellent. about that dollar. Yes. That's what I like to hear. Um, Preach. she takes you out into, she basically opens this large door at the back of her office, which leads you into the large structure behind. And, uh, for ease of description, I'm just going to move you into, yeah. Wow. So... Up in the top corner, I'm just going to reveal the stuff. I don't know why. So, even... are we in the forest now? This is, uh... No, you're in an office. <laughs> I know, but I don't know. Does an office count as being? If, it's, if it is in, if there's a building in the, the forest, does that count the as being in a forest? Is in a sort of quarried out area, uh, further along, there's a mine, and behind that is the forest. Okay. So, um, you come through this here door. Uh, why am I not pinging? You might have the wrong door. There we go. Yeah, I did. And you come out into this just very, very large area. There's uh, essentially lowered areas into the ground, which look like cattle pens. And there's one long sort of trench that runs up the middle. Uh, these cattle pens, there's more there than I drew. They go all the way down mm -hmm. to the bottom of the uh, thing. Are there actual cows in these cow pens, or is this... Well, as you walk forward, you lean over. Uh, actually, the first thing you notice in here is the smell. Or should I say stench? Or should I say fatal nasal incident? Gosh, elf um... keen senses are not the, <laughs> are not the skill to have right here. Um, She's like, a, oh, uh, sorry, I... Yeah, I... Forget I, I get used to this. Um, it's it's quite it's quite distressing when you first come in here, and <clears throat> this essentially case, this case collapse <laughs> at the uh, the stench of like working uh, you know filth. Yeah, this is this is like kind of my first. No, yeah, this has been my first. Uh, certainly my first exposure to like manure. I think <laughs> like we've always had stable people. No, 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 never mind. I lived on the streets. I lived on the streets for a, a really long period okay. of time, like semi homeless. Mm -hmm. So I, I have been excuse, I have been exposed to filth, um, just okay. not actual work ever, never, never <laughs> a job. 
Fair enough. Um, well, I mean, you've never been exposed to filth like this, none of you. Okay. Um, hey, I was raised by animals and stuff. <laughs> Depends what sort of animals, but this is this place does not smell good. Um, okay. You can see there's the there's a couple of people sort of milling about and looking down into these these pens, uh, but nothing as special is going on at the minute. Uh, she leads you over to the closest pen here. You can see that it's essentially uh, divided by thick iron bars. There's two different pens, and in both of them are these two large creatures. And I've just realized I really should have brought up an image of them, but what they are, she explains, are ettins. Uh, Anyone know what an ettin is? I can kind of do a roll to get it, because I yep. think that they, are they a beast? They are a large are humanoid a... creature. Yeah, those are the trolls that she was asking us to like capture. I think they're, those are the things around which our labor will revolve. Yeah, so trolls. I was hoping to use one of my, you know, class they, features. Are they no, used... no, no. Like the thing is that using your class feature is like uh, exploring. Like that will give us more information about Atens, like as a subspecies of troll or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, if are they're beasts, if they're not beasts, they can. Are these like the creatures that she's using to power the vernacular thing? That is a very safe assumption. Clever boy. Um, as you look up, you can sort of see that uh, this grey area. This essentially goes underground down a tunnel. Is and that again, where you keep? Where is that where you put them to work? <laughs> that you could imagine that this would lead out to the, uh, you know, to where the uh, funiculars are. No. Oh, so this is their dormitory. This is where they hang out. <laughs> yes. Hey, yeah, hey guys. Like posters on the walls. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh, everybody having a good time. <laughs> um, the the Ettons that sort of are in the pens closest to you just don't respond to your presence or what you're saying. Um, but the one in the end has glasses see... on. He's like a big nerd. Yeah. <laughs> you can see. Oh, that. Yeah, one see tear rolls looking. down his eye. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're sort of just looking down the ground. One is actually eating out of a, like a large. Um, not a bowl, but like a bowl-shaped area in the ground. And there's little, like, holes that for, you know, waste products in the cells as well. So, uh, did you roll about uh, what you know? Yes, are they uh, beasts? Yeah. Do they count? Yes. Uh, they're essentially, well... Humanoid monstrous creatures. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, if you want to, you can certainly roll nature or something like that. I have to... advantage on int checks about them. Okay. Go for it. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh... Huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> so that's four plus. What, what have you got? Yeah, nothing. Zero on it. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have just rolled nature, but hey. You're pretty sure no, but... you've heard of Ettons before, but that's <laughs> about all. Wow. Uh, unless anyone else has something they want. Teddy, you know about you know about this stuff? Uh, do I? I don't think I have you anything might. about beasts. Um... Mm, nature, anything like that? I, I mean, I, I, minus one in intelligence. I, I can stuff. roll, but I don't have a great uh, stat. I, I give it a go. I might roll, yeah. roll well. I well, you know, you might, you might know something. <laughs> it turns out, no. <laughs> Everything is a fool. Nobody knows mm. anything. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Wow, those are some big cows. <laughs> <laughs> I posted, by the way, I posted a picture on the general chat. I'm going to try and get it into uh, into Roll Twenty. But if you want to wow. see it, see you can see it. They're, they're the yeah, they're these big sort of burly two-headed 
large creatures. And did we, by the way, did we rest since last session? Uh, yeah. yeah, you can put all your stats back. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's see. So I don't want to wait for keys to come back. So he can do well, he has to do his nature check. <laughs> <laughs> and roll a four. I can do yes. divine sense, try to check if there's any. You certainly can. Around. Um, Just do you, all the rolls while he's not here. You sense no sort of divine or any sort of holiness coming off them, or unholiness. They're just, uh, they seem to be completely neutral in that sense. Yeah. What is insight anyway? I've never used it. Uh, sorry, say it again? Insight. insight. Oh, insight, that's to do with people's motives, really. Um, it's like reading you know, body it. language, isn't it? Yeah, essentially. I'm I've got pro proficiency in it. True. Me I too. Should've, I should have used that, damn it. <laughs> uh, you could have known if uh, Keys was really falling for Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Why? <laughs> What's going on? We are thinking about insight. <laughs> uh, roll for nature. Roll a nature check, um, would. Yeah, oh, yeah if sure. you want, if you want to try and find out anything about Ettens, essentially. Oh save yeah, us. I... save us. We all rolled for us. <laughs> okay, it's not. I'm not like proficient or anything. But... No, I mean, you yeah, I, I, yes. I only had advantage on it. <laughs> God damn. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you um, don't know shit about these guys things. Are stylish. Well, I mean, Man. even on it. These these creatures are sort of not terribly mysterious. Um, you don't know much about them, but you do know that they essentially, with the two heads, comes two personalities. And it's kind of weird how quiet these things are because they're known. One of the the, the first things they're known for is being incredibly loud, sort of bellowing, always they, arguing they uh, with themselves. Well, yeah, I assume they're intelligent. They're, they can yeah. speak, and they cer they certainly are intelligent to a degree. But yeah. they're also, you know, just they're monstrous essentially. They're... Gosh, I don't agree with this. <laughs> I ask, like, are they drugged or something? Um she basically brings you in closer. So she says it well, drugged wouldn't be much of a solution. We'd have to keep administering the drugs and it turns out they're actually you know, they're incredibly hard to to drug because you're essentially having to administer two doses. Um, so yeah, she says the solution we we have come to is a bit more permanent than that. Why is it? Do you lobotomize them? Essentially, um, mm -hmm. I'll show you. <laughs> she she brings you to the edge of the uh, you know to one of the pits, and she takes this sort of long stick and she just shoves one of the heads. One of the heads of the creature is sort of hanging down. The other is like staring at the floor, but the other one is literally just hanging. Uh, she pokes one of the heads and it sort of flops around. And you can see there's something going on behind the eyes, but it's not really there. <laughs> uh, and you super can also not okay with this. <laughs> you can also see yeah. this large puncture wound just above the temple of the creature. Oh, so it's been trap end. Essentially. Um, so capturing them alive isn't easy, and carrying them isn't easy. So... <laughs> Jamie reaches into his jacket and pulls out his character sheet and reads his ideals. The natural <laughs> world is more important. Than... <laughs> um, well, you can certainly think about that. Um, you, need, you, see, you need to wear them out, and then she basically hands over <laughs> something she's been carrying. It's this sharpened iron stake with a small sort of crossbar near the edge. And he says, or she says, um, get that hammered in just as far as the cross uh, to that same point, and that will essentially um, kill that part of its brain. You, if you, no. if, you to if you totally destroy one of them, one of the brains, the both will die. But if you just do this damage, they become very docile. Um, they lose a large part of their motor skills. Their arms lose most of their function but they they're super aggressive otherwise so there would be no way to use them 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm not having an easy time with this either. <laughs> Stason just mutters under his breath. Breath brutal. <laughs> is that sort of a nineties brutal, or is it sort of a positive brutal? <laughs> brutal. I don't know. Do you want to roll an insight check? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might. Um, but yeah, you. That's essentially. Um, that's essentially how we keep them and how how long did I work what did I how many how well many do you need as you can see we're we're actually extremely down in stock at the minute um it's becoming something of a problem oh my God, this dog. that is a loud dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> um yeah we're having trouble procur- procuring them at the minute um, my usual, my regular crew that I had have become incredibly unreliable of late. Oh, do they not agree with like the morals? No, no, no. They, they have no problem with the morals. They just no. I don't understand if they didn't if they had a problem with them. Yeah, um, but that's essentially, you know, they they haven't been doing a good job. Let's just say. This sounds suspiciously like ranching work to to me, and well, that. Hey, like... I'm all down with being a cowboy, but not like this. <laughs> Can we just lasso one? Yeah, but you see, when you lasso one, it would tend to break every single one of your limbs and eat them. Mm. <laughs> they're they're As not nature ter- intended. They're not terribly friendly. In fact, they're extremely but aggressive. She's not expecting us to do this to them, is she? We're going to capture them, and she's going to do it, or she wants us to get them and <sighs> your your only way to get them back, um, essentially without a lot of hard work, right. be to to do that and basically just have it follow along behind you. <sighs> I've got a feeling Stason's going to be left to do the dirty, isn't he? Because <laughs> these guys are going to pussy out. Okay, can I talk to my to my to my to my people, yeah. please? We need, yeah, yes. we need a team huddle real quick. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say team huddle. Um, <laughs> can we put all of these out of the misery and then? Uh, uh, you yeah, you, you blank out there. I heard. Can we put all these out of their misery and? Then... <laughs> and then a dog started barking, <laughs> and then yeah. not do the work for them, and then not get more. And and just like stop this because you know Jammy not not okay with this. I mean, so here's here's a quick question. Uh, like, okay, well the thing is, the question was for him. Uh, and think of another question and ask someone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's the I, capital of Kenya? <laughs> well, this is this is a little. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't actually know. I'm I'm an American. Please don't do that. We're notoriously bad at geography. That hurts. That that you you're, you're just tying into my weak spot here. What's happening? It's, it's my weak spot too, to be honest. Okay, uh, um, Kian, darling, um, uh, or rather, Jami, uh, will you please uh, uh, answer this question? Which is, does your character your character obviously prefers to have things happen in the natural way? What does your character feel like uh, with respect to ranching? <laughs> Because this uh, is basically taking like a real big hostile cow and then putting a bullet in, in its head. Well, I mean, is that legal for you? You cool with that? Well, they're uh, how much does this like job pay? Putting, they're like putting animals, not animals. They're putting things to work. Like she like says, for us. "I'll give um, you, I'll give you a thousand gold pieces per etin." Because Stason just says, "I'll do it." But these guys have got to, got to agree as well. I, no, I understand that it's kind of shocking to see. Right. They're they're putting they're putting these these things to work with like by force, and they're lobotomizing them. You're putting like me to work. Super not cool. <laughs> yeah, and lobotomy. You're already being lobotomized. Well, that's, I had to eat your your cookie. Well, no, yeah, actually, we're yours. about to. Use, no, I, <laughs> I, I I grabbed the tool. We're about to use this on you, actually. So. <laughs> Um, we take him back out. We, yeah. take, we take him out to the shed. Yeah. And, uh, what makes you think I haven't had that done already? Well, he was here to seal the deal. The... That's actually the plot for Crank. So, <laughs> there you have it. 
Yeah, you Spoilers. have to keep your heart rate up. <laughs> so, um, she says, I mean, uh, do you want to, or sorry, I'll let you discuss the morality of this a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to, John, me, I think I'm going to have to leave it up to you on this one. Is, is it a case that you just don't want to do it full stop, or you don't want to do, you don't, you don't want to do the thing? Because, like, Stacey could do it. I don't want to do it, and I want to put a stop to them doing it. <laughs> right, okay. Well, if, if that's the case, you'll we've got to get that tool off her. Oh, I just take it off. <laughs> oh, well, that was <laughs> easy. Take it. Let's go home. Bye. She had handed it over. Oh, oh yeah, right, yeah. Okay. I have it. It's in my hand. Okay. Sure, yeah. I'm just okay. Go. <laughs> um, she says, uh, "Well, um, what do you think? I mean, can you can you start right away? How many of these do you have for our party? These tools." Yeah, uh, we can easily, you know, Damn. give you as many as you want. Damn it, they got loads. <laughs> <laughs> They're easily um, made. Oh. Okay. Um, I say, uh, okay, I'll, I'll come back to you uh, soon. We're just gonna discuss stuff, so you can walk away now and be gone. Okay. I get. I mean, I but, can see you're but, having. That's like, with this. Why? Um, these creatures are. Does she have some keys, like on her? Uh, any kind of keys on her? Um, none visible, but it's not inconceivable, I suppose. Can I kind of roll to see if I see keys on her? Sure. Yeah. Stacey's, <laughs> Stacey's got an idea he wants to discuss. Uh, what, 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 one second. You do your key thing first. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, not keys. Your key. Yeah. Do do yeah. my key. Oh, oh. You can't do me. Stacey, maybe. <laughs> Ten. Um, Jeez, again with the four. Oh, it's a plus four. Sorry. Well, uh, you definitely heard jingling on some pocket or other. You just don't know which pocket. Okay. I I I throw a glance at keys and get okay. and he knows exactly what to do. What I if... actually really do, but I'm going to suggest. Uh, a tactical retreat at this time. If you want to gum up these works and do and like release all of these creatures or something, mm. I'm down to like come back later at night and like open up all these pens or something. However, I really do not want to start crap while we are in the middle of a hallway um, and surrounded by workers. I mean, I'm just gonna like grab, grab see if I can grab that. I'm not gonna start stuff now. Okay, I'm gonna roll perception. Well, there's uh, hold, but if you don't oh, hold on. Succeed. There's there's an alternative is that we go and get one of these, but we we dr we drug it, and we tell her we've done the work, and then we just give her a real life item that's gonna be a problem. Oh I mean, yeah, and yeah, it, it'll that, be the leader that's... of the rebellion. <laughs> it, it'll lead the rebellion. No, because that's of doing them. the thing that I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, but it's not. The I mean, one. these ones are clearly not, you know, with it. <laughs> I don't ones think they ever gonna... will be again. No, That's no, why no. they need the one that is like healthy. Once That's it they sees to... what they've done, yeah. it's going to flip out. It'll lead the rebellion. And Assuming then it all has gonna... some sort of intelligence. I don't know. I rolled a four. I mean, I'm pretty sure by the way they sound, it would just flip out anyway. Yeah, that's dope. See, I mean, that's cool. It's Look. I mean, I don't want to destroy them... all this. I Let's just want to be, you know... Hand up. Let's give them a hand up, not a hand out, and give them a leader that can lead the rebellion. <laughs> and if if they if the rebellion doesn't succeed, they were not meant to rebel, my friend. Give them out a fish. There's there's a reason we farm cows, right? They can't survive on their own. Exactly. So the the that's the reason. So what we're gonna do These here? Is, yeah, what we're gonna allow for is evolution to happen. So what I want is is like we're gonna we're gonna capture this guy and just you know like drug him or something. We're gonna have to figure out. I can use my <laughs> drug him or contacts. something. We'll hang, on, hang on, fam. Hang on, fam. Uh, I can I can I can use my underworld contacts to find a, a sleeping drug that we can use on this critter. Breathe and hook it into something. We're mm. gonna get like a barrel of it, and we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna booby trap some food with it, and then we're gonna bring that sucker back. Drop them in the pen and just walk away. Because and take then the you're gold, letting. Most importantly, take the yes, gold. yes, and and then check this out. Hang on, I'm still I still got one more thing, Steve Jobs, one more thing, um, <laughs> that will be allowing the natural order to take course. There you go, Johnny. What's I good? mean, 
I kind of, kind of, I mean, Jamie's in blind rage. Nature is brutal. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like I just kind of want to stop this. Like, no. It, well, I mean, the, we can't stop it right but, now. And we can stop it, it in a second How by bringing it back down without them. Yeah. I mean, they, they power I'll this block. thing. It's... I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to see the rage in your eyes and, and put your hand on your shoulder. Say, <laughs> money and we can still do this okay. We can still do this in a natural way. I, in a natural way. Instantly after he says money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of money. Okay, get the money. Stop it all. <laughs> Precisely. So we're gonna first. We're gonna we're gonna go and accept. I'm gonna take the tool. You, and you just go. Put it away. I'm not. You're I'm not in the, the mood. Tool, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this tool. I broke it. Did it just as get I, hot? As I hand him two halves of the tool. We're gonna need yeah, another sorry. broken. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we will accept. Uh, I'm not enjoying it all. <laughs> yeah, we we will gladly accept, madam. Um, uh, however, you did offer us uh, one thousand gold per. Uh, I would like to ask for fifteen, please. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> the fifteen hundred. One thousand five hundred. This is this is, is dangerous getting... work. Uh, and to be frank, we have we have a little bit of uh, emotional hardship that we're going to need some kind of compensation. For. How's this charisma? <laughs> It's a yeah, fantastic. Well, uh, yeah, you're going to need to roll for it, but she does look amenable to persuasion. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm specifically asking to increase the 1,000 gold to 1,500. So can I can I assist? Can I assist his roll by by acting up in the corner and like crying around? <laughs> <says in> my... <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying to work out in my mind how that would work. I don't what, think ethically you would be trying to yeah. assist in this transaction. You'd no, you would be trying to get the to money. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get the money. No, we're, yeah. we're subverting. <laughs> we're subverting this. We're subverting I would like to give okay. him advantage on the roll, please. Thank you. Yeah. All he's doing. Stason is... walks over and says, "Look, this is going to be a difficult job. We've already got yeah. one party member who's uh, having a difficult time with this. Uh, Look, the morals. Uh, uh, are you I okay? Like, what I was understand. that? I mean, yeah." <laughs> The... Are you in the Family Guy fight scene? What is that? Are you fighting the chicken? He's going. Ah. I'm uh, going through all the stages of grief, you know, like anger. <laughs> oh right, all in <laughs> real <laughs> rapid <laughs> succession. And then, yeah. Right now we're on the bartering stage. <laughs> no. Nobody died. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> okay, so I, uh, like the way that that would work out from a GM perspective, just to it just kills the say, innocent spirit of these trolls. <laughs> is that um, if Kian, if if Jami is proficient in persuasion, he can give me advantage on the roll by doing a help action. However, as I am proficient in persuasion, a non-proficient character cannot help me do that role. Dudes, I swear I have a life. I swear I have a real life. It's getting hard to believe. Wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's how that would um, work, is that I would have advantage, but only if you're proficient. Yeah. John. Well, maybe... Uh, I got maybe... A, a minus one to persuasion. That so, sounds uh, like he's going to make you have a disadvantage. <laughs> maybe performance or something like that? You, you know, I have you're... a minus one to performance. <laughs> okay. It's, I mean, it's, it's all based on my charisma modifier. Yeah, I'm just, just gonna, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll, dudes. Let's move on. Okay. There we go. Seventeen. Oh. Seventeen. Oh, that's very good. You get the full. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you do. You laugh. get what you ask 13. for. She says, you know, you're right. It is dangerous work. There's no two ways about it. These things are lethal. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to so pay you that we... much. Oh, oh, thank you. Stays <laughs> flexes says, a bit as he says ask it. The, ask for her keys. <laughs> ask for them. Yeah. Um, can so can she we have the keys yeah. to deposit this directly in the pen, please? Uh, because that way we can just get them right in there for you. Oh, don't worry. People will have folks here uh, uh, okay. training in that. I, I look at back at Johnny like shrug. I did. I did my best. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> I, I'll I'll grab his hand on the way out. I, I'll, as he's crying, I, I'll weeping I'll openly. Yeah. No, it's not true. God damn it! I'll Why does this shoulder. happen? Yeah, Please. I'll be the shoulder he can lean on. Yeah. Did you say you'd grab his hand? What with your wet limp 
It's not Handshake. flat or limp. It's just delicate. It's I delicate. How about we create a new stat for moisture? And everyone has to go. You guys have to quit calling me clammy hands. This hurts. I've got delicate hands. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and head on out and actually try and, and find one of these guys. Uh, wait, wait. First, we're gonna find a an, an unconsciousness causing poison. I'm gonna head down to the uh, to the rough ends of town, and I'm gonna use my thieves cant. Thieves can't. Yes. Whoa! Can't. What, did, what was sorry. that first one? <laughs> hey, sorry. It's the second one. <laughs> your, poor, your poor thief. I'm not. Well, I've also got. Oh no. So uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, that's, that is not going to get used anytime soon. <laughs> um, I just well, it's a state of his <laughs> Just it's, before it's you actually um, leave or part company with Indivan, um there's this a uh, another uh, trolley load arrives and gets off. Again, load of miners getting off to work, um, and this sort of unkempt, burly looking bunch of guys splits off from the miners and comes towards the office. Um, they see you talking to her and the leader, who is this big guy, he's missing many teeth and the few that remain look like they're trying to escape by any means necessary. Uh, his eyes are bloodshot and that distinctive. I had a lot of fun last night, but I'm regretting it now. Oh, uh, I bet you thieves cutting. <laughs> and he says, here, who's this now? Um, Inderman just points angrily at him and said, Selwyn, we have been over this. I'm not paying you salary anymore. You've abused my trust long enough. If you want to be paid, bring me some damned Ettons. So we're scabbing? Well, uh, no. Um, okay. The, uh, well, actually, <laughs> yes. I, I, should, I should get into that, but... Um, okay. All right. Well, I mean, we'll let this play out. I'm I'm interested um, in is, hearing what they have to say. Well, uh, they they have a bit of a back and forth, and then uh, how many how many guys they, are we talking about? Is this like going to kick off? This is like uh, there's eight guys. Okay. Um, let's see. So they're they're basically they're eyeing you sort of unpleasantly, and she says, "Look, you're the reason that the city is in the trouble, you know, that it's in right now." If we if we run out of these creatures, the the funiculars don't run. So oh, shame. <laughs> um, <laughs> she looks like was he being <laughs> played? Easy? Actually, listen. As um, an aside to the party, can we yeah. just like not do this job and just have have what we work out? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna encourage him to be quiet so we can listen in on this this hot drama going on in front of me. I scoops. want the gossip. Yeah, I want the, I want I keep saying it, but here's the thing, guys. I really do love juicy deeds. <laughs> um the sell one guy sort of eyes you up and down. Okay. And you think these guys are gonna help? What do they know about capturing these things? Uh but after a little while they sort of they storm off back into the forest and they look like um you know, they look like they're trying to get paid, essentially. Uh, Enderman turns back to you and says, uh, well, they they worked well for me for a while. <laughs> yeah, I had them on staff for a long time. They stopped bringing me anything. It was months upon months. Uh, and now we're in the situation we're in. Hell, I'd fire him too. Let's go. Yeah, okay. okay. Shame. <laughs> I'm Sounds gonna like a bunch of chumps, especially go. as a noble. Especially as a noble, I'm like, what is this garbage? Like, yes, good help is hard to find. Let's get out of here. <laughs> as someone who's never worked, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> never been paid for a job, really. Okay. Okay. So, um, with that done, you're free to free to amuse yourselves. Excellent. Uh, shall we? We should go to the. I want, I want to go to the dank corners of the city. I want to find the dankest means. Will it take us time to try and find... Uh, to find what, sorry? To find an... Uh, uh, what are they? Ettons? Ettons. Uh, could do, but with your brilliant tracking skills. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> we could either... I was going to say we could split up and, like, 
I could go find one, but I mean, that would just, I mean, fair. no, this is good. Plus, plus uh, she said that they were like crazy loud. Like they just crash through the forest <laughs> when they move. So like, we'll yeah. find one. I don't even need good tracking skills. Yeah. Yeah. It's all <laughs> oh, good. There's one. So yeah. Like, I can I'm hear. Try and, I when I'm in the forest, find, like, I can a... like, I can detect stuff like six miles away. So. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. I mean, to get into the sort of area in which you might hear them. Yeah. yeah. You certainly need to, need to be able to find your way around. Okay. So I'm I'm we're gonna we're gonna head to the dankest corner of the city. I'm gonna use my thieves cant, which uh, like the way that it works is that it's kind of um, it it seems like it is innocent inquiries. I'm like, hey, mm-hmm. you know, do you have you heard the latest about the Red Robin? And then. <laughs> What? But it's way <laughs> slicker than that. It's like way. Have you? Uh, you're not very practiced in it. You're like, have you um heard yeah. about? Have you heard rumor? Yeah, have uh... you heard the word about, <laughs> about the bird, <laughs> the red-breasted bird? You want a red bird? Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be like. So, do, do you bird. do you know about the pufferfish? Uh, did you hear about the the new restaurant, the pufferfish? Do you know? Do you know? I will ask for directions to the new restaurant, the Puffer Fish. What if one uh, of the animals that you were asking fish. about? Yes, I think I see what you mean. Um, and he gives you directions to oh, slick something. Okay, we're gonna head into the into the black <laughs> we're market. Right? We're so we're gonna get robbed. This guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing: if he knows the thieves can't. Now nah, let's all use our insight. Now yeah, let's talk about user. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. That's actually a really fantastic idea. Well, I mean, Stason, Stason is not maybe as as comfortable with you know with the thieves can't. Maybe he's more about the body language and you know. Yeah, this guy seems like super shady, and they're talking about something random. He just he gives them a steely look and looks them up and down, reads Did the body language. Okay. What was that rule? Yeah, what was that rule, Akian? I don't know, that was insight. All right. Okay. okay. I'll do insight so, as well. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, keys. Yeah, you definitely realize that it, as good as the other guy's rules are, <laughs> you know exactly what he means. Oh, hold on one sec. Just before we go on, what, yeah. I've got two numbers there. What? What? Which is what? It rolls twice. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't like that. I don't like the yeah, way it rolls weird. twice. Because it, it's like... One of the things you have in uh, D&D is advantage, and if you have advantage on a roll, you roll it twice. Right, yeah. But it's like, if you roll it twice, and then you fail the first time, I would like to be able to roll again and have that drama. <laughs> yeah. Know? Also, um, why is it rolling twice? Why do we have advantage? It, like, it rolls, you it rolls advantage. twice well, in case you it, have it. Because yeah. I think there's a way Oh, I see. To, okay. Like, so generally speaking, roll. yeah. You also have a, like a, a point of inspiration that I basically hand out for your character living well, um, which allows you to spend that to get an advantage on any role you want. So, um, where were we? Yeah, you realize that he is not only not sending you into a trap, surprisingly, because you're in a you're in quite a dodgy area of town, but because you're speaking the thieves can't, you. There's a certain understanding. There's certain honor amongst thieves, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, so I, you think I that, know what, that he's saying... whatever the puffer fish is, whatever he has taken that to mean, he is at least sincere. So if, okay. if he if he thinks you meant the murder club, <laughs> you're going to the murder club. <laughs> Well, I mean, puffer pufferfish really is notorious poison, like yeah. really notorious. Like that's the most notorious poison that I know of. Given the fact that that's the first thing I thought of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that okay. you you are sort of pleased to find that you yourself outside very squat looking building, uh, really low slung. It's got uh, sort of unusual for this place for this city. It's got a thatched roof. <laughs> Okay, I'll do a secret knock at the door. Okay. Thieves knock. Thieves knock. Uh, the door opens into a very dark room. You can see that there is a large and quite fearsome looking fellow who is just standing by the door, watching everything as it happens. 
And okay. yeah, there is a halfling man who is basically sitting behind, uh, not a counter, but this again, it's this very sort of load of, um, selection of baskets, and there's just all these ingredients and bits and pieces in front of him. And he's taking bits out and looking at them and combining them and putting them together. And it's kind of hard to know what he's doing, but he's doing it. Okay, I will uh, walk in uh, briskly and say, <clears throat> I need enough ether to take down two trolls. <laughs> How much? Let's see. That's a good question. Um, just give me a second to look at my sure. price list. Uh, this is not what he's saying. This is what I'm saying. I mean, he could <laughs> say that. He could say that, but yeah, I think sure. he knows more than I do. <laughs> Um, how much does uh, well I mean he's probably not a chloroform cost well I mean here's the thing he's probably not a very good game master you're a much better DM than this guy (laughs) is so you know don't sell yourself for it (laughs) he's good at poisons not DMing exactly we've we've all got our gift (laughs) he's like hey I run a I run a shadow run campaign you don't know me (laughs) (laughs) Look, guys, we desperately need a decker. I'll give you this ether for free, but <laughs> need to run this mission. <laughs> um, so he says, well, a bottle ether is, uh, let's see, 30 gold pieces. And that is not enough to knock out a horse, shall we say. It's not, It's it, given the quantities that you suggested, that's just a regular bottle of ether. We only want to knock out one 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 head, right, of this thing. So, um, oh, that's a good point. What? Only one? Yeah, yeah if you knock out if you knock out one head, the other becomes docile. And then we could yeah. just lead it back, and she won't notice the difference. If we knock the whole thing out, then she'll be like, "What's going on here?" Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But okay. I don't. How, how many do we, do we need to bring back? I didn't even. She basically said she'll give you uh, one thousand five hundred for every ethnic. Oh, okay, right, right. So, um, at at your mention of knocking out multiple trolls, um, this little halfling man sort of looks up and says, uh, "Let's see, what does he say? Uh, where's my name? Nothing. Uh, sorry, guys. Just talk amongst yourself for a second." Stason is proficient in medicine, by the way. So should we um the actual dosing? So say we bring the this Etten back to the to the pens. Should we come back in disguise or something and try? Already said that we're jammy. Like probably people are probably gonna pissed off at us if we just you know destroy their whole um. Elevator. Uh, it's which not our fault if the procedure didn't work, is it? But we're going to have to make it look like they've been stabbed as well. So I don't yeah. know how we're going to do that. I no, I, I've got a disguise through. kit. I've got okay. a disguise kit with makeup, yeah. and then we, you, we, with your proficiency we could just, in makeup, can we could just with use your some of Jamie's blood as well. Yeah. Just dab a bit of blood on there. Yeah, I'm just going to cut Jamie a little. Yeah. <laughs> just cut a little. Him. Just cut him. <laughs> um, so he looks up and he says, ah. Your, I take it you'll be off to the portly goblin then. At your mention of trolls and ether. <laughs> oh, I like, I like your style, guy. Uh, I'm just trying to get in his good graces so I can negotiate him down real hard. Uh, where is that again? <laughs> Why would you say that out loud to me? <laughs> well, I mean, he, he, he's in his, you know, he's in his element. He, um. And he he recognises that you know keys has has given the appropriate thieves candy knocks, you know. So it's it's all su- sort of suggestion and innuendo here. Um, but yeah, he says so you oh, thieves can't. You'll be doing doing business with the folks at the Portly Goblin, and you've been like, what what did you say after that? Oh, uh, well, it's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> Is kind I mean, of what I I would say. Yeah, like he would know. Like, dude, don't don't yeah, ask about my clientele. I mean, like, he fam. he uh, a little he tap of the nose. I don't he, kiss he the tail. Um, he's not at all offended by that. You know, he's like, 
It's just the no, you know, hey, like, hey, fuck off, buddy. <laughs> 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 it's because I'm from Philly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fuck off, pal. <laughs> Oh dear, he go old Charlie Kelly on him. So yeah, we're gonna. I guess um, I still have fifteen gold left. Like I have only fifteen from our last thing. Uh, so Jami, you want to cover the rest? We can. Can I negotiate him down to like thirty for enough to do all this? Uh, again, this is gonna be some sort of haggling. Okay. Are you, are you asking me for money? Uh, <laughs> I'm just assuming you're going to hook me up. Money. Man, I'm coming through with these haggling. Uh, okay, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, let's see. That's pretty I'm good. I'm going. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, you get him down to 20. He, he recognizes you're an adept at the whole haggling thing. Yeah, game recognized game. All right. Yep. So we'll get it down to 20. Uh, I'm spending all my... I'm now down to zero gold. Uh, and I'm just going to assume Jami pays the, the difference, which is okay. whatever. I, I need you to sign this for me, keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am not going to commit my signature to that. What is the <laughs> Sorry, I'll forge it for you. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, okay. You're in the rough part of time now. Yeah, now that I'm like in debt to John, I feel like he's gonna break my knee. <laughs> for all the done. for all the sympathy he's shown towards Ettens, <laughs> there's very little <laughs> going your way. Something I didn't ask earlier, and I probably should have. Um, yeah. Who who's in charge mm. out of Brian? <laughs> like, because someone's oh. employing Stason, right? So hey, we're a collective, push... but legal yeah. counsel me. I don't know, I guess. This is uh, employee-owned. It's an anarcho-syndicalist yeah. commune. Because yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, if push comes to shove and like these guys have a disagreement, don't know what Stason's yeah. going to do. Uh, I think Stason has, like always, just got to follow his heart. Okay. That's really and true. fists. That's beautiful. <laughs> he, he knows and wallet. Two, <laughs> yeah, he, he knows two languages, common and combat. <laughs> and love, and love, and the language of love—that's true. Universal language. All right. So uh, I sign. I sign the document. Jami hands me like just completely resigned. Like, oh god, I'm really making a terrible error here. Even though I am getting you another 500 gold again for the second time, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting you a thousand gold total just by my being here. But I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Uh, so then um, we're gonna we're gonna pay for the ether and head out uh, back toward the forest to catch catch ourselves one of these jokers. Okay. Um, just before you go, he says, as one, you know, as one professional to another, as one can't to another. Tell tell them I sent you over there. They'll give you a better rate. Okay. Thanks. What was your? Uh, who should I say? Sandal. <laughs> ASL uh, Sardo S A R D O. Got it. Nice, 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 nice handle. Hmm. Did they uh, when you were in 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 uh, when you were in elementary school? Did they call you Lardo? <laughs> Listen, that was a very difficult time in my life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's not See, make fun of body types. Look, that kid's uh, got buzz. <laughs> All right, see you around, Lardo. <laughs> I, I'm not going to bully him. I'm not. See you, Tardo. Oh, no! <laughs> he, yeah. he just you missed gives, that one. Oh. He just gives you a sort of uh, knowing this is all part of the part of the yeah, film. Yeah, this is all part of the Thieves' Can't. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's all uh, it's, it's professional respect. Bye, Boldy. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool so um yeah we can we so now we know we can use sardo's name to get a better rate on uh on this uh on, on hookers on wasn't it at the uh, uh a black no tank. not exactly well possibly <laughs> um but yeah he he mentioned this at the at you 
with the ether and the mention of trolls. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is, uh, can I, can I roll like insider history to figure out if, if, uh, keys knows what he meant? Um, yeah, sure. Cause this is, this is lost on me right now. Um, this, this I feel is... like, I feel like he was trying to say that he understood our plan and that we could use his name in talking to Indemen uh, and perhaps get a better rate than even the negotiated upon a 1500 gold. Well, that's the way that my my uh, player interprets it. Okay, and um, certainly, if you want to give me any sort of history, any check on it at I'll any do, time, I'll do a history check. There's the fancy rules. Okay, well, given, given the circles that you run in, um, yeah, you have heard of this. Um, you instantly realize that this um, what was it the portly goblin mm -hmm. is the is sort of a slightly well-known amongst the right sort of people dive bar um, in pretty much the exact center of the slum area. Uh, but as to, you've never been there, and as to exactly what he means, you're not 100%. Excellent. This is a, this is A, a mystery, and B, a sexy mystery. <laughs> Those are two entirely different categories, but yes. I will actually say thank you, Sardo, sir. I appreciate it. I will not call him Lardo or Tardo. He gives you a little nod and tells you to F off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to head back to the forest and find these trolls. Get him. Okay. We're going to get him. Okay. Um, so you've you basically got your daily tickets, so you don't need to purchase another another ride shall we say um and you make your way back up to the top and you stand essentially before the forest ready to move in and that is where i'm gonna have to call it okay okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry i i kind of wanted to get you in there but it's getting a wee bit too late to start anything else right now <laughs> okay all right <sighs> That's cool. But we will get next to Next time, soon. we'll have violent fun. Sku, are you yeah. going to be around uh, next week? I should be, yeah. Hopefully, okay. yes. Um, yes. Now, normally, we should be playing on Thursdays. Um, but yeah, that's that's the idea. Now. Are we gonna Are we gonna do an extra thing for this to finish this as well as the normal? Um, I can fit finish it in my this. schedule. Sure. I'm free pretty much any time between now and then. I am too. Teddy? What? What are we doing? Uh, we were wondering if we wanted to do another session to what's up before the regular Thursday where we get back into the full plot. Uh, yeah, sure. Plus all well, the, other, I mean, the other guys will probably be back then as well, right? So Exactly. True. It's and right of, now we're like in the middle of nowhere. If yeah. they come, yeah. Oh crap, I've just realized I actually have something on. Um... Yeah, bloody Warhammer. <laughs> Which is not something I should say, because I really like it. Um, but maybe this well, time we, next we week. We can discuss or, it in the chat. Or we'll earlier in the, chat. in the week. Yeah. Okay. Certainly, if we could get to, get this again, it's it's a nice little side mission. Yeah, so. it'd be nice to yeah. top this one up and then have the full thing next week. At yeah. some point. Yeah, we might be able to get it done even this weekend. If, yeah. If yeah, we'll fig figure out the timings. It's, I don't know, whatever, we'll figure it out. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, as far as this is going, this could easily be its own sort of arc. Uh, arc. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, you actually did things in a much different way than I was expecting, so... <laughs> what, you didn't yeah, expect us to just hate like, it? <laughs> yeah, you expected us to be, like, cruel, like... <laughs> Brutal butchers. No, you know, no, I that that wasn't the unexpected part. But um, yeah, I, I, I was just interested to see how you would, you know, how you would react to that because that was always the idea behind the, the computers yeah. that they're running on, something quite shocking. <laughs> okay, yeah, I dig that. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the uh, book by the Irish novelist uh, whose name I completely forget, but it was wow. Butcher Boy. Stop trying yeah. to get in our hearts. Oh, Shut yeah. up, fam. 
uh, Butcher Boy was really like I read that um, as part of my capstone year in college, and it was a really fantastic book. Um, and it in it uh, he uses a tool just like that, like precisely mm. that tool um, in order to kill cows, and it is like a very difficult thing for him to process. Uh, and it's done in that kind of um, really good like stream of consciousness that the the Irish are particularly good at. It's true. Well, perfect. And that's why this campaign is so good. <laughs> Great stream of consciousness. Just, just making it all up as I go along. All right, fam. So, I'm going to get out of here and have some dinner. Uh, let's okay. talk in chat and see if we can do this again soon. Yeah. Thanks for playing. That was fun. Yep. Thank you, guys. Okay, Bye. Later. Experience. Oh, um, come back. <laughs> come back. Um, <laughs> um, let's see so it's Maybe. what experience do you have at the minute uh, we are 295 away from the level 200 and... Two... 295 yeah we have 2 405 and you get 2700 alright ah, okay uh, well, I might actually just bump you exactly up to 2700, um, if that would be alright. And then we'll be nice and exactly level forward. Should, does that include Stason? That includes Stason, yes. How much okay, do we need for the next level? Uh, no, that is you exactly on. Yeah, but like level. Oh, the next level after that. 6500. Oh yeah. Then again, as, and so as, we're on what at the moment? Uh, you are on level four. That is two thousand seven hundred XP. Two thousand seven. Yeah. Wow. So we're not even halfway. So we're rolling a hit die now. So. Yeah, you can basically upgrade your characters and do whatever. I am going to go off. If there's any questions you want to ask before I go. Damn! Nice roll. Cool. Which means I'm on thirty eight. Hello. <laughs> yeah, um we're basically exactly ready to level up. Huh. My now I'm gonna have a problem because uh I want I have to talk to Quinn. I don't want to step on Breeze uh -huh. toes, but I want to multi class into Bard because they have a spell okay. called Unseen Servant. And I really, as a noble, want to have want to cast that as a ritual once per day and just have it butler around for me <laughs> and be my butler. And I want to name my unseen servant. I want to name him Lynn Belvedere. Look, after Mr. Belvedere. Butler and just because of that thing. <laughs> Yes, I want to multi specifically just for that. I want to spend my level just so I have that guy. Like, there's also some other stuff. Uh, like, I, I get bardic inspiration or whatever, but f I, I really just want to have a butler. But I don't. Uh, I don't want. I don't want Bree to feel like I'm stepping into into her. Yeah. Her, her well, turf. I mean, so. That. Uh, yeah, you're you're under no obligation to you know do it right now. So yeah, I right give uh, give. We'll, we'll, we'll negotiate. I I'll, I'll roll persuasion on Quinn. That's my idea. Yes. So okay, now I'm really out. How does this ability score thing work? Uh, ability score, you let's see. Like, you can raise... So the, the way it works is you can raise one score by two, or two scores by one point. Thank you. So you can raise, like, you can raise, like, your strength one and your constitution one, or your strength two. Can we, like... Pretty sweet. Can't we, like, uh, instead of doing that, get, like, a whatchamacallit? You can, the other thing that you can do is you can also multi-class, uh, in which you take the first class and another class, or uh, you can take a feat, uh, which yeah, is feat. Uh, which is you sacrifice your attribute points to take that feat. But yes, the feats are totally cool, and Sku actually uh, was looking over those earlier and can talk to you about... Um, what he th what he thought was really exciting. I think I might. Um, 
There's a there's a couple that are totally sick. Uh, I'm this thing. Does look like, like some good stuff. So, I mean, everyone is getting the level up at the same time. So, you know, don't feel obliged to do anything now. Uh, have to rush. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I really am out for dinner. Bing. Right. I just I just saw level four and I was like, oh, what's good? I gotta gotta yeah. hold her back. All right, take it easy. Cool. Later. Right. So that's me. Peace out, y'all. Um. So when I'm leveling up my hit points, it's uh one d eight plus my constitution modifier, I believe. So yeah. So that thing I just rolled there is before the modifier, right? Uh, yes. So that's okay, six so plus. Uh, one, one I think. Yeah. yeah. Unless you increase your score in the constitution or whatever, but yeah. Well, that's the point, because it's level four. I could have done that before. I am going to go as well. Okay. I've had fun. Okay, Cheers. peace out. Thank you. Later. Um...